From the back of the back lot of a movie studio in Hollywood, it's the, 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 the Tom Micah Show. I have been with women from around the world. And now, and now here he is, Tom Micah. Thank you for tuning in to the Tom Micah Show. This is where America gets together to talk about the issues you really care about. It's never guy from the Radio Talk program. We're the Radio Talk show that is not hosted by a right-wing wacko or a convicted felon. No! I am your host, Write down our telephone number. You're going to need it. It's 1 800 5800 Tom. 1 800 5800 866. Thank you for tuning in. Thanks for being part of our program. Here we are together again on the radio and uh, just enjoying the crap out of it. Can I tell you something? I told you it's going to be here all summer, and I'm enjoying the crap out of this. I really am. Look at this story. <laughs> this comes from a website in the UK. Jennifer Aniston and John Mayer are reportedly set to put their three-month relationship to the test... With and where did you hear this phrase? With a trial marriage. That's what it says here. It says here, despite the recent spate of marriage rumors, after three months? You kid me, right? Uh, yes, despite the recent spate of marriage rumors, the couple are said to be taking things more slowly. <laughs> There's a typical Hollywood relationship. They're going to take things slowly. After three months, they're not going to get married. They're only going to live together. <laughs> yes. According to this story, a source says, John wants to settle down as much as Jennifer does. Oh, boy. What's more, says the source, according to this story, he's been telling her that he thinks she is the one. And she believes him. <laughs> By the way, if you believe the gossip magazines, and who doesn't? <laughs> Isn't John Mayer like one of the biggest players in Hollywood? Hasn't he nailed like the hottest chicks in town? What's he going to do? Sue me for saying he's nailed the hottest chicks in town? What guy would sue for that? I'm asking a question here. Isn't that what they say? If, 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 if you're getting all the hottest chicks in town, why would you want to marry or even live with that? Seriously. She's had the turkey neck now for years. Brad Pitt dumped her. Come on. As I always say, when you find a broken TV set sitting inside a recycle bin, there's a reason somebody put it there. One of the reasons I don't go through the recycle bin looking for treasure is because I figure if anything had value, nobody would put it in the recycle bin. They'd hold on to it. I don't know if this story is true or not, but if it is true, my message to John Mayer will be the following, okay? <laughs> Brad Pitt put this out of the curb. Think about it. I just think it's reasonable to think about it. That's right. 
says here that John is expected to move into Jennifer's Beverly Hills pad when he finishes touring in September. The insider adds that babies are also likely to be part of the couple's future. The source tells Grazia, is that a uh, that an Italian gossip rag? I don't know. The source says John is the first guy since Brad who has talked seriously about having children, and Jennifer is very excited about it. Oh my God. Well, I don't know why you would be moving in with anyone after three months, much less marrying them. I don't know if, if you're John Mayer and, and you're allegedly a player. I don't know why you'd ever marry anybody, much less move in with them. Why? Makes no sense. I'm speaking from experience here. You know, I moved in with uh, several over the years. I I had one for three and a half years. Started when I was uh, just getting out of my first marriage when I was twenty years old. Uh huh. Moved right in. Just bounced into another relationship and stayed there for three and a half years. And of course, because I was missing out on all that fun, I screwed around. <laughs> Finally got caught, but I screwed around. Then uh, I lived with um, another one for about a year. It's stupid. This is These are all months and years of your life when you can be going out there and just getting laid and getting laid and getting laid and having this variety available to you. So I spent the better part of the rest of my life making up for lost time. Are you kidding me? The other day, I sat down and made a list of the Latino countries, Latin America, where I have not nailed a chick. Here's the list. Nicaragua. Haven't gotten a Nicaraguan yet. You don't see that many around in Los Angeles. You just don't. Nicaragua. Let's see. Yes, Argentina. Uruguay. Haven't done Uruguay yet. Bolivia, Dean, that's right, Bolivia. Of course, these are the lesser populated countries. Venezuela, yes, I've done Venezuela. Colombia, many times, yes. Argentina, yes. Puerto Rico, yes. Cuba, yes. Belize, no Belize. Haven't done Belize yet. But literally, I sit there figuring it out. You know, what countries have I not hit yet? I sit there making a list. You can't do that when you're married. You can't do that when you have somebody living with you. You make a list. For God's sake, you make a goddamn list. But all I will say is that um, while I don't think three months is enough to be moving in with anybody, and I think if I were John Mayer, I wouldn't move in with anybody. If you would actually consider getting married, a so-called trial marriage is the way to go. I'm opposed to the idea of living with somebody because you can't afford the rent or because you don't have enough game to get laid every night so you figure if you're going to move in with somebody, you're going to get laid. I I'm opposed to that idea. In my view, the only reason to move in with somebody is to see if you could stand to be married to them. And if you don't plan on getting married, there's no need to ever live with anybody. And you might say to me, well, what do you know? You've been married four times. Well, that's why I know. Who would know better? I got to tell you, I spent some time up at my ranch over the weekend. And um, there was a day when I just sat out and listened to the wind blow. Looked out over the valley. Hot wind blowing in from the Pacific. The sun was setting. It was a perfect sunset. And um, you start to enjoy solitude like that. You do. All you little boys who are afraid of living without mommy, 
Once you've matured and you learn that this is possible, that you can do this by yourself and that it's actually fulfilling and wonderful, you're going to see what you've been missing. Believe me, I've been seeing what I was missing. I'm telling you because that's exactly what I'm doing right now. I didn't always know about this, and I uh, always felt I needed to be in a relationship at one point in my life. You don't. If you insist on getting married, a trial marriage is definitely the way to go. Because I'm telling you, once you move into her place, you're going to see what the future looks like, and, and chances are you'll head for the hills. So I say, if you are thinking about marrying her, before you make a commitment, move into her place. No doubt about it. And uh, the idea that John Mayer would move into Jennifer Aniston's Beverly Hills home, great. Take a look at the future, John. The furniture choices, the doilies, the draperies, the curtains, the house rules. This is your future. Go there, find out what you're in for, and then make a decision based on that. I don't know. I just think people don't get it. They don't get it. I will tell you also that the trial marriage thing helped me to avoid several women who a marriage with them would have been a disaster. A disaster. I mean, the marriages I had ended up badly enough, but I could have been a lot worse off. I could have married people who were real trouble. But I didn't, because I moved in with them, found out what it was like, and then I moved the hell out. What do you think? What do you think about that? Like it. 1-800-5800-TOWN. Like 1-800-5800-866. I've been listening to you since I was four years old. You're like a third parent to me. It's the Tom Likey Show. Oh, yes. It's the Tom Likey Show. 1-800-5800-TOM. That is our telephone number. Chad on the Tom Likas Show. Hello. What's up, Tom? Not much, Chad. Um, well, first of all, of course, John Mayer is a total idiot for uh, moving in uh, after only seeing a girl for three months. But I got to disagree that Jennifer Aniston is completely used up recycled goods. For this reason, because... It's not like some two-bit wannabe actor dumped her. It's Brad Pitt. So, of course, he's going to be dumping ladies as he moves up the line, always going for something younger and hotter. But here's the thing. Jennifer Aniston, younger and hotter. Hello? Yes. Did you hear what I said? No. That was a question. Jennifer Aniston... Younger and hotter? No, she's not the one that's younger and hotter. Brad Pitt's always going to be moving on. Um, Jennifer Aniston, I like, on the other hand, she, um, say you buy a brand new plasma that's really, you know, hot and sexy uh, one wait, year. Yeah, so you're saying that he moves, that Brad Pitt moves to things that are younger and hotter? Uh, he's just going to keep moving So who on. did he date before that's Jennifer hotter. Aniston? Joan Collins? I'm sorry? So who did Brad Pitt date before Jennifer Aniston? Joan Collins? <laughs> I'm just saying he, uh, of course, he's going to move on to something younger and hotter. He's Brad Pitt. I understand if, like, a lame-ass two-bit actor jumped Jennifer, I mean, dumped Jennifer Aniston to the curb, then I'd be saying to myself, well, something's probably wrong with this broad. <laughs> but it was Brad Pitt dumping her. Yes. But And then, on the other hand, Jennifer Aniston... Also, it, it, it works the same as if you buy a hot plasma after a little while. You know, it's still going to be a hot plasma, but you're if you get... Well, richer, let's say you'd you seen... And let's say you'd seen Jessica Simpson naked. Could you then get aroused looking at Jennifer Aniston and her turkey neck? No, I don't... I don't that I don't understand about John Mayer. I'm pretty sure he's probably just more attracted to her being who she is. In that who case. is she? She's Jennifer Aniston. 
Jennifer Anderson, yes. Anderson. <laughs> Aniston. Yes, she was on that show. Uh, what was that show back in the 90s? Uh, uh, Cheers. Cheers? What was that called? I don't know. Um, Friends? <laughs> Is that what it was called? Sure. That's what Jennifer Aniston was on. I see. And has she had uh, what would have been the, uh, I imagine she's pursued a film career since then? <laughs> I don't know who Jennifer Anderson is, but <laughs> but I, I don't know. I just I just think that uh, of, of course he's an idiot for for moving in with her and all that. As young as he is, he, he you know he's going to get over it within a few years. But uh, you know that's that's his own problem. He says he's ready to settle down. We'll we'll see about that in five years. Yes, we will. <laughs> One eight hundred five eight hundred Tom. That's our telephone number. Ronald on the Tom Likas show. Hello. What's up, my brother from another mother? Not much, Ronald. How are you? Uh, so far, so good. I just want to agree with you on that issue that a man should have his own pad and not live with a woman. Never in his life. I was living with a woman. Well, I've been a Rolling Stone for the past ten years. And just got my own place this year, and I want to say it's a beautiful thing. It is I a beautiful get, thing, isn't it? It's, it's a beautiful thing. I come and go when I want. I drive the car that I want. I have the dishes that I want. I have the restroom that I want. And it's just a beautiful thing. Do you have the flat screen in the living room? Oh, exactly. Chicks I hate that. that. They hate I, that. And I have all the porn stacked on the side of it. Oh, yeah. Yeah, don't, don't hide that stuff. Oh, no. I don't have to hide nothing anymore. Nothing. Nothing at all. It's just a beautiful thing. You can leave the uh, lotion pump right there on the uh, end table. Oh, yeah, and leave, leave my leftovers wherever I like. <laughs> <laughs> oh, yeah, I just wanted to call in and let you know that uh, two-month listener, first-time caller. Proud of you, Ronald. Thank you. <laughs> Thank you, sir. Can you take me out with a bong hit? I certainly can. No cost. 1-800-5800-TOM. That's our telephone number. This is Randy on the Tom Likas Show. Hello. Hello, Dad. Hello, son. Long-time listener, first-time caller. Thank you so much. Hey, uh, you know, you're talking about those trial weddings. My brother met this girl last June at a wedding. He is already getting married to her on Saturday. Oh. Now, she oh. moved in with him, quit her job, lives off of him, uses his credit card wherever she wherever she goes, oh. uses his credit card, oh. has an eight hundred dollar car payment that he has to pay, has a Dewey, so her insurance is about five hundred dollars a month. Oh my. And he proposed to her in November. And then in March he can't he's in the Coast Guard. He comes home after being out on on the boat for like two weeks, he comes home. She's drunk and pissed off and starts beating the crap out of him. Broke his nose, gave him two black eyes, and he didn't even touch her. He, you know, kept his hands away just like he should have. But he calls off the wedding. She twists everything around on him, and he decides to stay with her. So now they're getting oh. married. Oh. And it's like... You know, I, I, I can't tell him enough, man. What the hell are you doing? I, you did the trial wedding. Obviously, it didn't work. Why by the you, way, why you by the way, it? simple rule of thumb. Any woman who's ever dialed 911 on you, out. Yeah, she didn't even do that man with one. She just decided to beat him up. Doesn't matter if it was legitimate or not legitimate. Look, if it was legitimate. You People. should be get you should be getting out anyway because if you feel the need to do something like hit someone, you're with the wrong person. Yeah, and now he's getting married to her, and I I I, I can't talk him out of it. <laughs> I've got three days to do this. <laughs> they get married on Saturday. You got any words of advice that I can talk him out of this? Uh, you can't talk people. You can't change people. Yeah, boy, this is a real bummer. But I'm just letting people know, man. You do these. Trial marriage is just like you're talking about. If it don't work, don't even think about doing it again. And here's an example of 
something like exactly you know what you're talking about that went wrong went yeah. sour. And by the way, by the way, how many? Let me guess. How many pages is your brother's prenup? Zip. That's right. Yeah, doesn't have one. I already tried to talk him into that too. He said, "No way, I don't need that." Uh. Yeah, and he's in the Coast Guard. You know, he's been in there ten years. He's got some serious retirement built up. And he's gonna. He plans on sticking out. He's already made chief, and you know, I guarantee it's time gonna last a year at the most. She'll be getting all of that. And she, yep, she'll be getting fifty percent of it. Baby. That's right. And probably the house. Probably the house he just bought. <laughs> you know, and all of his toys, his motorcycles, his dirt bikes, all oh, that. Boy, oh boy, oh boy. Yeah. You're killing me, Larry. Yeah. I know, and you know what's really killing me? He's been to Thailand. He's been to Brazil. You know, he's been all over the world. He knows what those other women are like and what it's about. Right. And he's still sticking with this, you know, no job, high maintenance lady who's a heavy, heavy drinker and apparently, obviously, an abuser. Oh, boy. Yeah. So I've tried to tell him to listen to you. Of course, he won't. And of course, he, he won't. He's, yeah, he's stuck in his ways. Oh, he will in about two, three years. But to all those boys out there, you got to do the trial wedding because that's what's going to make it or break it right there. And hopefully talk you out of getting married. Yeah, well, my girlfriend doesn't even want to get married. She likes she likes just hanging, being together but not being married. She says, why complicate it? Hey, it works for me. There you go, Randy. Thank you for that. It's 1-800-5800-TOM. That's our telephone number here. Let's say hello to Bill in Portland, Oregon, home of the other white meat. Hello, Bill. You're on the Tom Likas show. Hey, Tom. I, I got to beg to differ with you, man. I think Tom or that John Mayer is a talentless hack, and he's lucky to be getting... Why do you that say that? You ever listen to his stuff? I mean, it all sounds the same. Well, first of and all, first of all, there's to. two, there's two John Mayer careers. Okay, there's the stuff that he does that gets played on the radio, okay, and uh, pays the bills, and but but he's one of the best blues guitarists today. And if you've never heard John Mayer, and I've seen him at the Hollywood Bowl, and I've heard his blues work, if you've never heard John Mayer, the blues artist, yet you're missing out. It's it's totally something else. Well, that may be, but I, I've never heard that. I've just heard the stuff that's on the radio and it all Trust me things. when I tell you, if you like blues, you will yeah. love his work. Is he like Keb Mo, something like that? He's amazing. You must listen. Okay. All right. I, I'll take your word for it. I'm, I wouldn't say it if it weren't true. I'm Look, I'm not his target demographic for his music, and neither are you, the, uh, the stuff that gets played on the radio. Uh, but I'm telling you, if you like blues, he'd blow you away. You just wouldn't believe how good it is. Well, you got a couple album names for me or something? No, and uh, the albums he's made, I think, are relatively recent, too. I mean, uh, the, they don't go back more than two or three years in my in my mind. That uh, Maybe I'm wrong, but I, I don't think they do. Okay. So I, I'll, I'll take a look at his latest collections. Uh, but, uh, seriously speaking, uh, you Google around or go to Amazon or whatever, look it up. All right. And, uh, yeah, he he actually, when he performs as blues, he performs as the John Mayer Trio. Okay. All right, I'll check out John Mayer Trio, then. Trust me. All right, appreciate it. Call me back and let me know what you thought. Okay. I sure. found it hard to believe, too. <laughs> I, don't, I don't doubt that. <laughs> okay. Thanks, All right. Tom. Thank you. And, by the way, you, you got to give the guy credit. If you believe the gossip columns, I mean, the guy's nailed uh, several of the hottest chicks in town. Got to give him credit. I do. 1-800-5800-TOM. It's Lee on the Tom Likas Show. Hello. Hey, Tom. This is the first time caller, Tom. I've been listening to you for the last six months. Yes. Uh, I have a uh, situation. Uh, I've been married uh, 10 years already. Have three kids, three beautiful kids. Um, lately, the wife is kind of act up since we uh, moved from a big cow moved downside to a uh, small condo. Um, she's been act up since um, about a year and a half already, and now she told me that she wanted to be roommate 
and just be uh, just be roommate and take care of the kids. <laughs> What's in that for you? Um, sleep now in the uh, living room. <laughs> Ugh! You mean you agreed to it? Uh, I I'm not agreed to to do that. I um uh, I, I said either I uh, uh, get a divorce or um, get a divorce, get out of the way, so I can be free and um, uh, put my game on and uh, never be married again. <laughs> uh, good for you. So yeah. are you are you working on that? Uh, well, that, that's a problem I have right now. She want, she, she say like that, but I love my kids so much that she want to take care of the kid, and I'm agreed to that. But um, I, I don't know what to do at this point. Should I just go ahead and go through the uh, the paperwork, or how? Well, yeah, every uh, you know, every day you stay is going to cost you more alimony. Okay. So I say, get out as fast as possible. Okay. And just left her with the kid and... Uh, well, if you want custody of the kids, it'll save you a lot of child support. I'd say go for it. If you, if you feel like you could do that, do it. But she says she wants to keep the kid, and she don't want me to have the kid. Well, then you and your attorney will discuss that. Yeah, but see, I, I don't want to go through the uh, attorney and stuff. We we both adult. We need to sit down and say, okay, how no, much yeah, you but, By the way, that's rarely works it rarely works you have to talk to an attorney you're gonna have to talk to an attorney anyway okay okay so to um uh, and and another thing when a woman put a ring inside of her would that change her attitude what do you mean um we have the third kid and we decide not to have any more kids so we she went to a doctor and the doctor put some uh, some O ring into her some some kind of ring I don't know what they call for medical term but they put it in her so she cannot be pregnant again. Yeah, all right. So it's already been done. Right, but ever since she put she put it in her attitude been changed. Uh, short temper, uh, moody every time. I well, maybe she's I, going out and getting laid somewhere else. Did you think of that possibility now that she has birth control? That she's out getting it somewhere else? Um, uh, I think of that, but uh, I never uh, think that she would do behind my back. Why would you believe that? She's already asked you to get out or uh, stay there, just be friends, sleep in separate beds. Uh, that doesn't sound like somebody who's in love with you. No, she says she's not in love with me anymore. After 10 years? So I'm telling you, she went out, she got the O-ring or whatever it's called, and now she's getting all nasty and saying, I, I don't want to be with you anymore. You've ruled out the possibility that she would have sex with someone else? Mm, yes. I think you're insane. Tom Likas. 1-800-5800-TOM. Tom Likas. 1-800-5800-866. To all those guys out there that are that are knocking these broads up and, and telling them that they love them and, and all of that, you know, these girls don't love you. These girls love the wallet. These girls don't want to have your baby. These girls want to have job security. It's the Tom Likas Show. From Hollywood. My name is Tom Likas. Look me up. I'm real. That's right. One eight hundred five eight hundred Tom. That's our telephone number. It's Janet on the Tom Likas show. Hello. Hi, Tom. Hi. I'm actually kind of nervous talking to you. Why? This is the first time that I've actually ever called. I haven't really listened to your show, but I feel like you're probably the best person I can call for this problem I have. Well, we'll see about that. Okay. Uh. Okay, I'm 25 years old, and I'm in a relationship for about six years. And my, I am married. I just got married about six months ago. And uh, about two weeks ago, my husband told me that he was a little unhappy. And he said he was unhappy? Yes. I, he told you that six months into the marriage? Yes, he told me this two about two three weeks ago. Okay, and did he say why? Uh, no, he said he was very confused. Okay. I kind of asked, well, you know, if there was anything we could do to work it out, maybe we could go see someone to talk about it. And he told me uh, that he needed a little bit of space. Oh boy. 
So I said, okay, fine. Did he move out to get that space? He said he had to leave, so he left. <laughs> oh, yeah. yeah. What does it usually mean when women say they need their space? Yeah, well, it was that well, that's Usually funny. means they need to have their space filled. Right. So a couple days passed after he left, and I decided that I wanted to go see what was going on. And uh, I saw him at some place with another girl. There you go. And I know that I was, my heart fell to the floor because I didn't know what to do. When someone says they need their space, and there's no point in, you know, if, unless you want to have an open relationship, that's the time to say, I'm opting out. Right. So I packed up my stuff and I left the ha my apartment, actually. Okay. So and now nobody's living there? Nobody's living there. Oh, mm, boy. And I don't know what to do because it's only been a couple weeks and I feel really bad. Well, it sounds like he's done. I don't mean to be insensitive about it, but I'm, I'm not the most sensitive guy in the world. I'm just honest. It sounds like he's done. Okay. Doesn't it? Yeah. I mean, would you want him back after that? No, I don't think it's that I want him back. I just kind of feel like I was left without, like, answers. Well, <laughs> you have the answer. Right. You have it. Don't you? Yeah. I mean, is there any un other unanswered question? No, I just kind of like why. I was just wondering, like, why get married if this is what you were going to do? You know. Well, I I think uh, I don't know how how was it his idea to get married? It was mutual. Wow. A lot of times when people say it's mutual, it was actually one person's idea and the other person went along with it. Right. That's true. So whose idea was it really? Uh, he asked me to marry him. So you didn't care if he asked you or not? Mm, no, I mean, we were, we've been, we were together. Well, we've been together for like six years. And, you know, well, I that's just, part of your problem right there. Right. You're 25. You were 19 and he was, what, 22? 21. 21. Well, you know, he missed out on that. Right. Chances are he got married and realized he was locked in. This is what I always tell people. Don't get committed so young. By the way, I'm speaking from experience. I got married at 18. Yeah. Okay. You know, I feel confused because, like, we, I, I, I needed to talk to him just because we didn't talk when, when I found out. And it was like a week into it. And I finally, we talked and I just let everything out of how, like, I felt at the time and, from the beginning of we've been together to the middle to now, and and he sort of gives me the I don't know if this is what I want. I don't know. Maybe in a couple months or he's just trying to delay. You look. I know. He's thinking to himself, she's going to scream at me, or she's going to cry, uh -huh. or she's going to stamp her feet. So he's he's doing the slow fade. That's I think it's true. I've done one of them myself. I know exactly how it works. So instead of having the big confrontation that probably scares the hell out of him, uh -huh. you know, well, I need a few months to think about this. So he gets you used to the idea so you're less likely to cry or explode or whatever you might do. Right. You're right. So do you want to wait until that time and have a big dramatic confrontation? Why don't you scrape up what's left of your dignity? And, and and end it yourself. I think you're right. I think you're right. Why wait to see what happens? What? So so he bangs a couple other chicks, and it's not as interesting as he thought it was, and he's going to come back to you and say, you know what? I'm back. Right. Yeah, would, you, would you be happy with that? No. I think, like, in my heart, I know that I wouldn't go back. I just think it's because it's so confusing and so... Darling, your ego is wounded. Right. That's what this is all about. Right. All right. But you have an opportunity to recover your dignity. Mm-hmm. Uh -huh. 
you know, move back into your apartment and eject him. Change the locks. <laughs> yeah. Tell him his stuff will be uh, waiting for him uh, out front of the building. Uh-huh. And that's it. Move on. <laughs> Call your attorney immediately. Get it annulled. Yeah. That's if it. possible. Yeah. Okay. And move on. And, and by the way, do you need to be married? Is it that important? Well, no, it was important. I mean, I I did everything I think I could to, to you know, I thought like... And, and here's your reward. Exactly. Exactly. I know. Okay. Wouldn't you be happier having your own place again? If you ever did, I bet you never did. No, I, I was with my parents. Don't you think you'd be happier now? You're you're a big girl. Yeah. Having your own place. Yeah, I have friends who tell me that, and I think about it. Spending time doing chick things. Yeah. And uh, after a few weeks or a couple of months after you've uh, just uh, gotten this out of your system, going out and being with other guys and seeing what the rest of the world is like? <laughs> yeah, that would be fun. <laughs> you damn straight would be fun. How many guys have you been with? Uh, Two. Not... Yeah, you're right. Two. There we go. <laughs> that first guy who took your virginity in high school and then him. Yeah. <laughs> you are right. Darling, I've been around the block a few times. That's why I decided to call you. Now you're an adult, and now it's time to go out and sample what's out there. Yeah. It's time to do the walk of shame a few times. Uh -huh. <laughs> I bet you've never even done the walk of shame. No, I haven't. you got to do the walk of shame. What's the walk of shame? The walk of shame is when you wake up the next day going, what did I do last night? And then you have to, like, there you are in the light of day, and you see him snoring away there. And you have to try to gather up all your stuff, and your panties are buried somewhere in the blanket, and you can't find them. Oh, yeah. And you, you left your earrings uh, somewhere. You don't know where they are. Probably they're in the living room somewhere when you first started making out with him. And your shoes. Where are your shoes? And then finally you cobble together a wardrobe that's barely legal that you can walk out the door. Uh, and it's the light of day. And it, it, everybody looking at you can tell what you were doing last night. That's We call that the walk of shame. Oh, okay. Sounds like fun. <laughs> well, but, uh, I, I got to tell you something. This is, this is part of, uh, of what uh, everybody should experience, I think, as an adult. Hang on a second here. Christine, what did you want to say to Janet? Chris, Christine says, put his stuff outside. Don't even let him know it's out there, and walk. Just yeah. get out of it. Oh, I, I took everything out of the apartment, every single thing. You're too young, you're too beautiful, you got too much going on. Dump him. Thanks. Thank you. Okay. Run, don't walk. See, I'm not the only one. Yeah. So does it make sense to you? And in the end, if you end it, you'll feel better about yourself. Maybe not today, but you'll feel better about yourself. Yeah. Because you know what? For In his mind, you're warming up the bullpen. I know. In, in his mind, you're plan B. That's it. Wouldn't you get some satisfaction of saying, oh, no, I am nobody's sloppy seconds. Uh-uh. You're right. I know. Are you kidding me? If if I were you, when you first get get done to a tender turn by somebody else, I'd have a cell phone camera, get a picture of it, and send it right to his cell phone. <laughs> I wish I had it. Yeah. To force me final soon, honey. Here's my future right here. Yeah. You're going to love it. Yeah. Okay, Tom. All right, Janet, get the job done. Good luck. Thanks a lot for the call. The Tom Likas Show.